Just do it! Yo, 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 yo. I say yo. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy's coming to you guys with another video, man. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor. Click the links down below in the description. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter so you guys stay up to date to stay up to date with me. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified whenever I upload or stream. Now, we got some 2K22 news straight from 2K themselves. We got season expands to my career and the W. We don't care about the W. We got all new city, which is, you know, if you guys don't know the city, obviously, is gonna ruin. You know what I mean? It's literally gonna ruin the um game. They said all new neighborhoods. So city and neighborhood. This is gonna be interesting to figure out exactly what they're talking about. The city and my career become one. So um maybe that just means that the city is now just only a part of my career. It's pretty interesting to see. Not gonna lie. Offense is more skill based. Yeah, sounds great. 2K. Let's let's see. Let's see. Um, it's it's all cool. You know what I'm saying? They they have a history of lying in these articles. I think Mike Wang is the one that creates them. But nonetheless, we're gonna go through it and see what they're talking about. So NBA 2K22 is about to tip off, and we've got some exciting news to share with you before it's September, or before it's released on September 10th. So I'm not gonna read all that extra stuff. I'm just gonna go straight to the things that they're talking about on the court gameplay offense breaking down defenders off the dribble with new signature moves and combos precision jump shooting dunking in traffic and pulling off alley-oops have all become more skill based basketball iq and stick skills play an even bigger role in separating top offensive players so they can say that but we actually have to see it to believe it because like like i said even in last year's article lie they lied about multiple things so like we're not going to believe anything that's in the article you know what I'm saying? It's what it, it is what it is. Defense, a completely revamped shot contest and blocking system. Highlight an, ar an arsenal of new defensive tools at your disposal. Playing suffocating defense. Hold on one sec. Let me turn off these alarms, man. We got to turn off these alarms. But yeah, they said playing suffocating defense on the perimeter and in the paint has never felt more rewarding. Giving elite defenders the ability to truly change the outcome of the game. So we'll see because as you guys know defense has not been a factor in 2k for years it's like the game is always offensive based it doesn't matter if you're literally you know playing the best defense you possibly can play it literally doesn't make sense so they say seasons across fan favorite experiences seasons allow players to extend and enhance their hoop ambitions long after the game's launch free for all 2k22 gamers in my team my career and the w modes it brings more content more rewards and more ways to play and this year seasons will introduce an all new way to level up your my player and earn exciting my player prizes in the city and in the neighborhood man more details will be revealed about the expanded seasons experience later in august so just to talk about that you know right here right now so as you guys know or if you don't know in my team they had something called seasons where you know every new every single season it was new cards uh new packs new challenges it just kept my team fresh for the entire year so like literally my team never got boring at all so if they're going to implement that into my career you know obviously my player that should be fun because it's going to give you an incentive to want to play part for a lot longer so that is a good idea by 2k i'll give them credit for that next thing they talk about is my team um, I'm not gonna talk too much about my team because it's a lot of it's a lot of things going on in my team um, And you know that they're gonna cover that I'm not gonna cover that too much But there's gonna be a my team draft long crested draft you select So yeah, my, if you guys don't know there's gonna be a my team draft It's obviously really a great mode where you get to draft cards and play with them in online. It's pretty cool um, Experience the evolution of my team. So yeah, they're just talking about you know evolving on my team my team was really great this year, so they, you know, obviously they're gonna do some really great things. Next thing is cross gen progress and collection. While NBA 2K22 will offer two unique basketball experiences across the two console generations, my team progress and collections will be transferable between consoles that are within the same console family. So you guys obviously know what that means: PS4 to PS5, and Xbox One to Xbox Series X and S. VC wallet, my team point, and my team token balances will be transferable within the same console families as well. So. This happened for me on PS4. When I was on PS4, I saved up at least 300k VC. <clears throat> and once I got, you know, the PS5 and next gen, my VC was still there. So your VC will transfer and your My Team Progress will transfer. So don't let that be more, don't make that more complicated than it needs to be. It's pretty simple. 
your VC will transfer over. So whatever VC you have lasts on your account. So if you end off on PS4 with 30,000 VC, when you go on PS5, you will have that same 30,000 VC there plus whatever VC you plan on buying. So it's, it's pretty simple. Next up, we got new city and new neighborhood. So the biggest online basketball community gets two different makeovers in NBA 2K22. PS5 and Xbox Series X and S 2K22 players will step up and hoop in an all new version of the city. PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch and PC 2K22 players will compete while setting or while setting sail for the high seas. Take your best my player builds and express yourself through both your game and your style in each unique online experience. So, a living breathing city, step into an all new city teaming or teming, I don't know what that word is saying, teaming or teming, with life activity and, and, and interactivity, NPCs, so non-playable characters. Populate the fresh city layout while my players from all over the world compete in the highest level of playground basketball. An all new quest for assist, or an all new quest system for 2K22 engages my players with creative content while offering new ways to level up and earn rewards in this revisioning of the ps5 and xbox series x and s basketball communities so like i told you guys already man if they bring back the city the game's gonna die within a month like why do i say this is because every single time 2k has tried to add all these extra features in a neighborhood in a city whatever the case may be we never like it like i said guys the, at the end of the day all we want to do is be able to load into a specific park server and be able to just play park that's what made the game lit 2k15 was only a park server you load into a server that's just with parks 16 and 17 were the exact same those were the prime years of 2k everything else after that has been horrible 18 was horrible, 19 was terrible, had some horrible gameplay, had a neighborhood, 20, had the same exact copy and pasted neighborhood, we did not like it, we just wanted park service, we wanted the parks to be lit, you know, tw uh, 21 next gen, 21 current gen, neighborhood in a city, the parks were dead, everybody stopped playing it after a while, it's not rocket science, we do not want this city thing they're trying to drag and it doesn't make sense. So yeah, it's ridiculous, bro. Matchmaking options in the city. The city opens up new and quicker alternatives to get into online hoops. My players can enter select matchmaking buildings to be placed into immediate competition. Whoa, okay. Matchmaking sessions will be available for a number of game types and will contribute to all my player progress. Now that's game changer, man. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Matchmaking means that we're gonna be able to get games instantly. Oh, okay. You see, I y'all see how I am, bro. I stay authentic, bro. I'm not gonna sit here and cap it lie to y'all and try to be like, oh yeah, no. Nah. I'm not gonna lie, bro. You know what I'm saying? If we're able to just get, if we're able to just load into a park game like that, or to just play park, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. That's hey, that's game changing, bro. That, that might have just defeated everything I just said. Like, if we're literally able to just say, yo, we're just gonna load up and just play park like this with our squad we don't have to worry about waiting for a game or worry about people running and we can just normally go play park and we don't have to wait for an event i'm gonna say that again if it's not an event or something special or anything like that like the same way you guys can go play park on a normal day if we can just go you know go play matchmaking and it be the same thing as park nothing different yeah that's gonna be game changing man i'm not even gonna lie to you at all bro the next thing is all board the 2k cruise so this is interesting we're gonna see what this is on the ps4 xbox one nintendo switch and pc platforms nba 2k gamers will show out and compete in an all-new dedicated basketball community a neighborhood built on the spacious decks of a sailing cruise ship explore and hoop in nautical luxury and when the cruise docks the exotic locals throughout the season make your way to exertion counter to participate in shoreside events all taking place completely off the ship so yeah like that's a little bit you know eh, whatever that like i said is you know if we're able to just simply load in and play the park that's the main point that we that's the main thing that we want out of 2k all we want to be able to do is just load in go straight to a park server and just be able to play the park like i said if that matchmaking thing is true to where we can play you know park 
and get the same rep everything's the same just literally by clicking into a building where you say okay you're gonna be able to play park it's the same thing it's just you know you get to just load in you don't have to wait for games you don't have to see who's on the court or anything like that that's gonna be great that's gonna be a great way to get rep so like i said but yeah this whole cruise ship thing you know it could potentially end up being like excessive but we'll see i don't know uh more news ahead more news or more new features more new content away all my players in both the all new city and the new 2k22 neighborhood stay tuned in early september to discover more so yeah i'm not really too fond of that i don't really know how that's gonna go like i said the neighborhood has been a failure the whole entire community has hated it the city was a failure we all hated it so i don't know why 2k keeps pushing this city neighborhood agenda across it's it's mind-blowing at this point i'm not gonna lie to you it's mind-blowing like i said if they can make it to where people are able to get games consistently then that's going to be game changing but if it's just to the point where you know us getting that automatic matchmaking is not even worth it and it's just something random it's not going to be fun bro i'm telling you that right now but my career in nba 2k22 for ps5 and xbox series x and s my career and the all new city become one in a groundbreaking narrative experience for nba 2k embark on your personal journey to the pros a sprawling my career life by exploring the city seeing new and familiar faces and hooping your way to exciting new heights Players on PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC will play out the new 2K22 narrative in a dedicated traditional My Career experience. So basically what they did, guys, is they took the city and put it strictly to, you know, just a My Career experience for those who haven't understood that yet. So the city is strictly for My Career now. So you're not going to be able to go to a city and, you know, say, oh, you know, we're in the city, but then we got to go play part. No, it's going to be strictly strictly all about my career so when you're walking around in the city it's gonna have everything to do with my career that's gonna be very i'm actually very interested to see what that's about i'm not gonna lie to you like i said i keep everything authentic i don't sit here and cap i'm interested to see what that's gonna be about bro i'm not gonna lie to you that's just my personal opinion and then the neighborhood's gonna be something you know it's gonna be focused on playing park you guys see they had some type of shells cruise ship thing you play on and then they have dedicated buildings where you could just load in and just go play park so like I said, I'm not going to lie, if, if 2K can pull this off, I'm going to give them a lot of credit because the city and the neighborhood has been a failure for a lot, you know, for all these years. And if they can figure out the way to where we can just get games consistently, which is how we used to enjoy 2K, that's going to be big time, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Obviously, the gameplay is going to be always play a main factor. We always want that to be good. So, yeah. But hidden talents in NBA 2K22, dreams and ambitions in my career stretch beyond the hardwood floors. Players can now pursue side events or side ventures to build a profile in luxurious and trendy spaces brush up against the fashion world where the art of promotion will drive your success as a mogul or get involved in a hip-hop business where your music talent opens up an intriguing lane in the industry so like i said this is all just taken away from the main thing that we care about i don't know if it's going to be a great feature that people are going to care about or just another feature that no one's going to care about because that usually tends to happen when 2k adds these features we tend to not care at all so like i don't know if it's going to take away from the experience hopefully it doesn't hopefully this is something outside of the neighborhood something completely different you can do in your own time no place like home moving up in the professional world means expanding your home lifestyle central to your my career narrative and progress your personal hub represents your place in the journey to the nba as your profile and ambitions level up so to will your home base in the city so yeah this is all that's that's really based towards your my career in the city so i guess they're just expanding on in my career trying to just make it longer for us to play because you guys know how it is in my career once you get your badges and once you finish that first season there's really no reason to play my career after that so it looks like they're trying to give people a reason to play my career for a lot longer than just you know one season and after you get your badges so hey, it is what it is more to the journey my career in nba 2k22 will feature fresh faces and engaging storylines and this year getting drafted into the nba is only the start of your basketball narrative more will be revealed about the new my career experience in early september so yeah it looks like they took a lot of their time to make sure that my career was actually you know what i'm saying um playable for like i said longer than just when you get your badges and for one season even endorsements they did it encouraging you guys see i made it in a video how to get vc you know dealing with endorsements um and it's like after the first season they lower the endorsements it's just, just the engagement on my career and hold just goes down after the first season so it's like yeah they're trying to expand on that and last but not least and my nba and my WNBA, which i don't care about i'm not gonna touch base on that so that is the video guys um i'm not gonna lie to y'all you know before this video 
you know, I've been saying the city's gonna make, you know, it's gonna make 2K fail, but like I said, I'm a very authentic YouTuber, man. I don't sit here and just tell y'all stupid lies or stupid BS. Listen, the city is now only based in my career, so that can be great because that can just make my career be playable for a long period of time. You could potentially earn a lot of VC. There's gonna be a lot of ways to earn VC, hopefully. Then the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? They have matchmaking to where you can go to a specific building to where you can just play the park like that. Now, if that's the case, that's gonna be lit. You know what I'm saying? Um, if they bring back affiliations again in the neighborhood where, you know, it's one dedicated server where you could go, you know, go play in a specific neighborhood or a specific park and matchmaking, that's gonna be lit. So I'm not gonna lie. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. I'm not gonna lie. 1% excitement, 99% expectation of the game being poor because there was a lot of features that they were talking about that could potentially take away from the main experience, which is what? Playing park. That's all we care about. But like I said, if obviously now the city is only strictly for my career, so that's going to be separate, just strictly for my career, that's going to give you a chance to earn a lot more VC, do a lot more things in my career. And then you have the neighborhood and then, you know, that little cruise ship thing they were talking about. Hey, if we're able to have affiliations that have incentives like, okay, if you join this affiliation right here, you get a shooting boost or a passing boost, dunking boost, defensive boost, or whatever the case may be, that's going to be great. And we don't get 50% taken away from us when we go to a different affiliation to go play. And we can load up into a matchmaking. Hey, good job, 2K. But we'll see. Obviously, the gameplay is always going to be something that needs to be good. So we will see what happens, man. We will see. Only time will tell. Make sure y'all boys stay tuned for more news. Um, this was the longest video I made in a while, so you, you can tell that I'm actually intrigued about what's actually going on with this whole article. Um, make sure you guys leave a like. Make sure y'all drop your comments down below. Um, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you guys never miss any new videos or uploads. Man, like I said, man, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. It's your boy, Jam Ranks, and I'm out, y'all. Peace. Gang, they cannot do it like him. Uh-huh. Nobody's showing.